Number 25, a thunder of hippos. In spite of the fact that hippos seem to enjoy lying near one another, they are intensely independent animals and the only strong social bonds within their group tend to be between mother and child. Number 24, a convocation of eagles. It may not seem like it, but bald eagles are extremely social outside of nesting season and are actually thought to be monogamous. Number 23, a murder of crows. Crows are very social creatures and boast tight-knit families. They roost in large numbers to protect themselves from predators and have over 250 identifiable calls they use to communicate. Number 22, a prickle of porcupines. Rarely will you witness this in nature as porcupines are typically very independent and tend to lead solitary lives. Number 21, an intrusion of cockroaches. In spite of being so hated, cockroaches are actually extremely social creatures. They are capable of recognizing members of their own family and many times even live together with multiple generations. Number 20, a court of kangaroos. The level of sociability among kangaroos varies drastically, with some, usually the larger ones, preferring to live alone. Number 19, a business of ferrets. Ferrets are extremely social creatures and unlike their ancestors, known as polecats, will happily live in larger groups. Number 18, a scourge of mosquitoes. Although their level of sociability remains questionable as they typically only live a maximum of several weeks, mosquitoes do form large swarms typically for the purpose of mating. Number 17. A sleuth of bears. Bears are highly advanced social animals as they form hierarchies among themselves and create structured relationships. Number 16. A conspiracy of lemurs. Usually residing in groups as small as three, some lemurs form conspiracies that number up to 25. Number 15. A hood of snails. In spite of their sloth, studies have shown that isolation has a negative impact on a snail over the long run, which means that like most other creatures, even snails require social bonding. Number 14, a parliament of owls. While they tend to be extremely territorial and independent, outside of breeding season, many species do form flocks or parliaments. Number 13, a maelstrom of salamanders. In the wild, salamanders are known to live their lives in relative solitude, although there may be times that you might find a small group together. Number 12, a cackle of hyenas. As one of the most socially advanced members of the animal kingdom, hyenas live and hunt in organized social groups that exhibit complex relationships. Number 11, a horde of hamsters. It may come as a surprise, but hamsters are one of the more solitary animals on this list. In fact, if you ever try putting them together, it quite often results in aggression. Number 10, a coalition of cheetahs. As with most large mammals, cheetahs usually live in highly structured social groups, or at least the males do. Females tend to live on their own shortly after leaving their cubs to fend for themselves. Number 9. A crash of elephants. As with cheetahs, it should come as no surprise that elephants are highly social animals. In fact, they have some of the strongest family ties of any animal on this list. They engage in anything from greeting ceremonies and complex communication to teaching and communal care. Number 8. A cauldron of bats. Recent studies have shown that bats are highly social intelligent creatures that maintain relationships for extended periods of time. Of course, this may seem obvious given that they usually reside in large groups. Complex social interactions like those seen among primates, elephants, and dolphins usually require more complex brains. Number 7. A cream of turkeys. They're highly social animals that live in creams, or flocks, with a very recognizable pecking order. Number 6. A congregation of alligators. These long-lived territorial creatures are actually highly sociable and display a wide range of complex behavior. Number 5. An audience of squid. While some species of squid are extremely solitary, others exhibit advanced social relationships with complex communication among their group members. Number 4. A tower of giraffes. Giraffes are non-territorial social animals. They live in open herds with no specific leader and generally there's a lack of coordination in herd movement. Number 3. A risk of lobsters. If you see one lobster, chances are you'll see more. They're very social and tend to live in close proximity to one another. 2. A pot of water buffaloes. Water buffalo have been known to form herds that range anywhere from 10 members to over 100. And number 1. A shiver of sharks. Although it's rare, sharks do congregate from time to time. For the most part, however, the stigma holds true as they're highly independent and solitary predators with even the offspring of some species left to fend for themselves.